This is a message specifically to the wonderful woman who called me a monster on my birthday for wearing this hat. I just want to let you know that I am keeping my promise. Not only that, as you can see, I've added to the ensemble too. Ah, sometimes it feels nice to be a little petty. <laughs> Stay tuned for that story. The most important question. Hey Shadow, are you a vegan? No? No, you're not a vegan either? All right, I'll let you go, okay. Good boy. Now I know this might be a surprise to a lot of people, but no, I am not vegan. <gasps> oh my goodness, what a shock, especially with what I'm wearing, right? Uh, I'll make a deal with you vegans if you're offended. Well, first of all, if you are offended, I am Canadian, so I do have to insert here. Oh, sorry about that, eh? Uh, but I'll make a deal with you guys. I won't tell you what you have to eat and what you have to wear and you won't do the same to me. How about that? How about we just go continuing our lives the way we want to? Let's talk about it. Hello everyone. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Either way, you are most welcome. My name is Andrew. And as you can see, uh, I took off my uh, hat and coat. I was planning on doing at least the first part of this video with them on. However, uh, it's very warm in my apartment and I didn't feel like sweating profusely on camera. So uh, instead I got comfortable and we're gonna talk like this. Uh, now this is uh, going to be a series that I'm going to be releasing over the next couple of weeks. I think there's going to be either seven or eight videos in total depending on the length of videos and how I chop them up. Um, I'm going to do it like I did for my freedom of speech where I, I basically make one or two major videos and then chop them up into more consumable videos for you guys. And uh, I think uh, what, what I'm going to do uh, for this one is I'm going to release a uh, a couple days this week and next week so what I'll do is I will release on Tuesday like I normally do I'll release a couple videos on Tuesday and then on Friday I'll release a few more that way it spreads it out a little bit and it's not as overwhelming as having four videos all at once um, I'm gonna see how that works and maybe I'll do that in the future as well but uh, I'll have to see uh, so this is all about uh, a series all about uh, veganism uh, and let's get into it um, so first of all uh, what are the types of vegans and am I okay with vegans in general um, in general yes I am um, there are some that I'm not not okay with uh, but the vast majority of vegans yes I I am absolutely okay with them uh, so I have divided vegans into three different groups and um, so those groups are the vegans not by choice. That's the first group. Uh, the, the casual but respectful vegans, that's the second group. And the militant vegans are the third group. Or at least I call them the militant vegans. Um, so uh, the, the, the vegans not by choice. Uh, generally, they, they have to be vegan because they have some type of food sensitivities to meat or animal products and it is a dietary need of theirs um, similarly there are some people who have to be basically on a completely red meat diet uh, it just their body just works better that way i have by the way i have absolutely no problem with these people you got to do what you got to do to survive and i i don't judge them for that so i have no problem with them uh, same with the casual but respectful vegans as i call them so these this is the majority of vegans. This is where the majority of ve where vegans fall. Uh, and as everything, it's a spectrum. Uh, some just choose to be vegan by the food they eat. Others choose that plus not using animal products. Um, and it, it, it can be anywhere uh, in that, ex anywhere in that spectrum. Uh, everyone has a different reason for being this type of ve vegan, but what, uh, basically connects them all together is that they understand and respect that everyone else has a choice too and so uh, their choice may not be what's best for the next person 
and and so they respect the fact that they have their own choice that they have to make um it may be in their heads that they would like everyone else to be vegan too but they don't they don't put that pressure on people they don't tell other people what to do so i had a friend I, I i used to have a friend unfortunately he has passed since uh but um uh, his name was grant and he was a, a vegan and i he was i would i would definitely call him part of this category um and i i asked him one day uh when we were you know eating supper together uh at his place um i asked him if uh, or what he thought about me eating meat and he had a very interesting and i think a very important answer he basically said that he would prefer everyone to be a vegan um who can be because again he understood too that you know there are people who who can't be there are some people that have to just eat red meat and can't eat anything else um so they he said that he would prefer everyone be a vegan who can be but he also understands that it's not his place to tell them what to do with their lives and if he was able to make them vegan wouldn't they then be able to make him eat meat uh, and, and i think that's a very important uh point to be made is that um these vegans uh, especially in this third group that I generally have issue with, uh, seem to think that they can dictate what everyone else does, but then get upset when everyone, anyone else tries to dictate what they do, uh, which seems like a very hypocritical stance, if it, 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 in my opinion. Uh, so for these people, again, like the first group, I have absolutely no problem with you. You do you and I'll do me, and let's leave it at that. Let bygones be bygones and let uh, you know let us go on with our lives um, it's the third group that won't let that happen um, and those are the ones I deem the militant vegan um, everyone at this point I'm sure has seen videos online if not just go to YouTube and type in vegan and you'll find a thousand examples uh, these uh, these people are entitled they feel like they have the moral high ground and they have to tell everyone else to be good like they are. And if you're not like they are, then you're evil. Um, interestingly, militant vegans uh, tend to scare other more casual uh, vegans away from veganism. Uh, they, they, they feel like they're the gatekeepers of what makes a vegan vegan. And so they will literally... Um, go up to a vegan and start asking them silly questions silly very specific questions about well do you use leather shoes do you do this oh then you're not a vegan you 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 need to do it all or not be in it whatsoever uh no they have the right to make that choice for themselves you're not the gatekeeper for the group you, you you're entitled and you think you are but you're not really um i have a uh, i have an interesting personal story about a, a, a militant vegan um, I didn't know this individual ahead of time, but um, I was invited to a barbecue party that one of my friends was hosting. And there were, I don't know, he had invited like 30 people. Um, and he knew that there were going to be vegans there, so he actually uh, bought a small secondary barbecue so he could barbecue uh, vegan alternatives just on that barbecue. So not only was he providing a vegan meal for those who were vegan, he wasn't even cooking it on the same grill so that the animal fats wouldn't mix with the vegan food. So he, I, in my opinion, went above and beyond um, to do this. And there were other vegans there and they were totally okay with it. Well, this woman arrives and she storms over to him and she's like, well, what are you serving? And he explains, oh, um, I've got this for, for people who eat meat and I've got this for vegans. And don't worry, by the way, it's on a second barbecue so you don't have to worry about, you know, the animal fat mixing and all that. And she's like, that's not good enough. And he's like, well, what else do I need to do? And she's like, you can't serve meat whatsoever. Uh... And she basically threatened to go on hunger strike essentially for that 
if anyone ate any meat. And um, my friend handled it a lot, a lot nicer than I would have. Um, I think at that point, I would have been very, very blunt with this lady and said, like, you can do you if you don't want to eat here. So be it, but you're not going to tell the rest of my guests what they have to do too. Uh, he was very nice with this lady. Um, like I said, more nice than I would have been with her. And I think, unfortunately, that's a problem when it comes to people like this. Not just militant vegans, but like people with, like Karens. People like uh, whatever other entitled group you want to name here. Um, we are, in general, too nice to these people. Um, we, uh, we allow them so much leniency and then they, they, they use that and just take advantage. And, um, if, 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 at this party, eventually, what this, uh, vegan decided to do, and by the way, like I said, there were other vegans there and none of them had a problem with it. But what this vegan tried to do, and thankfully she wasn't able to do it, she was caught in time and told that she had to leave, which then she didn't want to leave, which is stupid, but anyway. She tried to tip over the barbecue uh, where the meat was cooking, uh, potentially causing fire and potentially damaging uh, my friend's home. Um, and then, yeah was told that she needs to leave and then refused to leave because she was making a point at that point. Uh, cops were actually called because she did not want to leave. Once the cops were called, she, you know, ran away. Of course she did. Uh, but yeah, this is the type of people, uh, these are the types of people that um, are, are ruining it for the rest of vegans. Um, uh, they're like the people who go into fast food restaurants and, and yell, you're killing cows, and so on and so forth. Yeah, like the hourly wage employees who work at fast food restaurants give a shit about your opinion on whether they're killing cows or not. Like, really, come on. Think about their priorities versus yours. And you're that entitled that you, you need to do that in the first place? Um, they don't care about your feelings. And I think that's the problem a lot of uh what it is to be vegan and especially uh the militant veganism is completely based off their feelings um interestingly only 24 percent of vegans are men and most of them fall under the first and second category it's only those who have like a a, a girlfriend who's more militant for instance i feel like that not everyone obviously there are exceptions to every every rule um but i feel like it's 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 those that go along with this um because i know uh from from my experience and from what uh, people i've talked to have said to me uh it, it's generally women who tend to be more militant um nothing against women but generally speaking um, women tend to rule more by their feelings uh, in general. Oh, that's going to get me in hot water somewhere. Well, eh, it's been said, so deal with it. Um, which, uh, so, so, like I said, I, I have no problem with the vast majority, probably 95% or even more of vegans. Uh, the militant ones are the vocal minority. They're the ones that get all the attention, but are very, very, a very, very small group within that community that is unfortunately ruining it for everyone else and is damaging uh, the reputation of veganism, in my opinion. Um, but that's up to other vegans to, to figure out how to deal with. I, I, I generally try not to deal with them. Uh, I have had a couple of experiences. Uh, uh, as you saw in the intro, I have a story. It'll probably be the last video for next week that I release. Uh, but it's a story of a, a, a militant vegan who had to tell me that I was a monster because I was wearing my leather hat on my birthday. Wasn't I just wearing blue? 
Yes, guys, I am filming some of the intros and outros for my uh, vegan videos uh, the next day. And uh, I am just honestly too lazy to go into my closet and fish out uh, my blue shirt from the dirty laundry. So uh, continuity be damned, you'll just have to deal with it. Uh, so if you like this video, uh, leave a, uh, hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you want. And um, let me know, do you think there are other types of vegans out there? Are you okay with most vegans? Are there vegans that you have issues with? Maybe you have a uh, story of a militant vegan that you have dealt with. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, until my next one, I hope you have a great day or week or however long it is until you see it. Until then, bye bye